Hi guys, welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now, let's try to continue guys, yung topic natin sa deflections of our structures, yung stresses, beams, at saka frames. Now, last time, nag-discuss na tayo sa virtual work method, so let's try to continue. Now, itong uh, next method natin, itong Castellanos theorem, this is actually a, another method, no? another energy method no? to solve the deflections of our structures. Now, uh, itong Castellanos theorem guys, um, more or less similar lang, I mean, hindi naman more or less, no, actually, Ah, uh, paano ba? Ah, uh, may pagka siya sa uh, sa virtual work method. But yun nga, medyo uh, depende na sa inyo kung asa yung mas madali sa inyo. Ako mas gusto ko kasi ito kasi mas diretso na ba? Kasi sa virtual work method, uh, dalawa kasi yung gagawin natin. Meron tayong dalawang structures na i-consider, yung uh, real at saka yung virtual structure, di ba? Na dito sa Castellanos method, actually parang isa na lang yung i-consider natin. Kaso nga lang, medyo yun nga, since isa na lang, medyo mas mataas yung process. Okay, but again, depende pa rin sa inyo kung asan yung mas gusto ninyo. Okay? So, anyway, let's try to continue, guys. So, dito sa uh, sa video na to, ang I amin mean, sa lecture video na to, meron tayong counting. Uh, yun nga, papakita ko yung governing equation, yung mga parameters, tsaka, of course, yung gusto ninyo, meron tayong mga example problems. Now, since na-discuss na natin yung virtual work method, uh, sa virtual work kasi, Uh, meron tayong isang video talaga para sa uh, trusses tapos isang video talaga para sa beams and frames. So dito sa Castellanos uh, theorem, I think isasabay ko na lang sa isang video yung trusses at saka sa beams and fra uh, frames. Anyway, uh, uh, madali man lang yung mga, I mean madali lang to kasi nga nakita nyo na yung uh, sa virtual work method. Okay, so dito sa Castellanos theorem guys, ito yung uh, governing equation niya. Okay, so trusses muna tayo. Okay, trusses muna. So, ang def deformation na natin sa trusses natin, so siguro vertical or horizontal deformation sa joint, is actually equal to, same pa din, no? Last time, uh, yung ginawa natin yung summation, di ba? Naalala nyo pa yung PL over AE. Now, instead of PL over AE, yun nga lang, summation of, ito, we have the capital N, okay, and the partial derivative of the function N with respect to our variable P. Okay? Now, uh, anyway, ito pala yung mga parameters natin dyan. Yan. Okay? Now, naalala nyo sa virtual work method, meron tayong capital N at saka small letter N. Now, yung sa virtual work, yung small letter N is actually the internal force, no? In a member para sa virtual uh, virtual truss. And then, yung capital N naman is the internal force of a member para sa uh, real truss. Now, dito guys, sa Castellanos theorem, wala na tayong, wala na tayong virtual truss. Hindi na tayo gagawa ng Uh, iba pang uh, structure, okay? So, isasabay na natin. Now, last time kasi yung unit load natin, meron pa dito unit load, okay? Now, yung unit load kasi natin, uh, nilagay natin sa virtual trust, di ba? Now, ngayon guys, instead of doing that, ilalagay na lang natin agad, okay? Yung unit load natin sa trust na agad natin, okay? So, bali ganito, tinan nyo, uh, yung delta, same rin, this is the external joint displacement, Okay? Depende na yan kung uh, horizontal or vertical. We have the load P, external force applied to the truss joint in direction of uh, delta. So, ito yun, load P natin. So, again, di ba, yung unit load natin last time, in-apply natin sa virtual, uh, ano daw, sa virtual truss. This time, yung load natin, hindi nga lang unit load, uh, load P lang, okay? Yung load P natin, i-apply natin, okay, sa truss na mismo. Hindi na tayo gagawa ng virtual truss. Now, instead of a unit load, we have a load variable P. Okay? Yan yung mangyayari. Okay? Instead of unit load. And then N, tinan nyo, ang N dito guys is iba na. Last time kasi yung N, para lang yun sa real truss. Okay? Now, dito guys, yung N natin is the internal force in a member cost no? by both force P at saka yung loads talaga sa trusses. So, bali, ang, yung N mo guys is actually a function of P. Okay? Kasi yung N natin sa virtual work, ang N natin is actually a fixed number, di ba? Uh, a whole number or I mean whole number, a real number. Dito kasi sa, dito sa N natin dito, function sa, as a function of P. Okay? Kasi nga merong variable. Anyway, meron tayo example problem mamaya para mas makita nyo kung ano yung itsura, no? And then L is of course the length of the member. Same pa din last time, di ba? 
And then we have A and E are the cross-sectional area of each member and E is the modulus of elasticity. Now, gaya nga nang sabi ko, usually itong A and E, since similar, especially sa mga trusses, no, same lang ata yung mga uh, areas and yung property, no, yung modulus of elasticity ng trusses natin. So, usually we can actually factor them out kasi nga constant. Okay, so ang i-prioritize natin dito is ito, itong N. And then itong partial derivative of the function n with respect to the variable p and then yung length ng members. So same then ito guys sa previous natin sa virtual work. We will try to create a table. Okay? So sa table siguro apat yung columns. The member, the n, okay? Itong partial derivative. Again ha, partial. Be careful ha, this is actually a partial derivative. Okay, uh, siguro sa trusses hindi nyo mapapansin yung uh, partial derivative dito But sa beams, later on sa beams, meron kasi tayong variable x Okay, meron kasi tayong mga coordinates, di ba? So meron tayong variable x mamaya And then, importante na alam nyo na this is actually a partial derivative Okay, so anyway, uh, I think mas maintindihan nyo to pag meron tayong example problem guys Again, uulitin ko, para sa trusses, ito lang yung governing equation natin Okay, so check natin yung example problem natin. Yan. So, sa example problem natin, guys, uh, pinili ko medyo mandalin lang yung tatlong members na lang para hindi tayo mata hindi na mataas yung uh, hindi na mataas yung solution. Anyway, uh, yung pag-solve kasi ng mga ito, ito pag-solve ng mga uh, internal forces, statics niyo yun. Okay? I assume na alam na kung paano i-solve yung mga forces, internal forces dito sa trusses from your statics, okay? Statics, tapos, uh, nag-discuss pa kayo ulit nan sa strength of material, tapos yun nga, nireview pa natin dito sa theory structure. So, I'm sure kayang-kaya nyo na isolve yung mga internal forces, okay? So, para mas maliit na lang yung length ng video, uh, kaunti na lang yung members na i-consider natin, which is ito yung trust na kinonsider natin. Tatlo lang, okay? So, determine that the vertical displacement of joint C of the truss shown and then the cross-sectional uh, area of each member is 400 mm squared, okay? And then modulus of elasticity is 200 GPA, okay? So, lipat ko dito, ha? Again, uh, ano nga ulit yung governing equation natin? So, the governing equation, the deformation is actually equal to the summation of N and then the partial derivative of N with respect to the variable P and then times the length Okay, ay sorry. Times L over AE. Again, guys, uh, yung technique ko dito, no, nung uh, during sa undergrad ko, ang ginawa ko is uh, parang PL over AE lang talaga. Okay, and then naalala nyo yan sa style of materials na instead of the force P, ito nga lang, summation nga lang. Okay, ng mga internal forces. Okay, so anyway, let's try to continue, guys. Yan. So, yun nga, guys, uh, ang gagawa tayo ng tape table dito. Okay? So, anyway, ilipat ko muna yung trust ko. So, ano ba yung trust natin? Ganito, no? Tama ba? Tama na? And then, we have 4 kN dito. Yan. Uh, 4 kN. And then, we have uh, 3 meters dito, no? 3 meters. And then, 4 meters dito. Uh, 4m and then we have 4 meters din dito. Tama no? And then A and B. Okay, and then we have C. Now, last time guys, uy, reaction pa pala. So, dito meron tayong R R-A-Y kasi pin kasi yung nasa figure. Then, dito na lang, ganun ko yung R-A-X and then yung last is yung R, uy, sorry, yung R-B. Okay? So, yan lang ata. Tama. Okay? Now, last time guys, di ba, ang ginawa natin sa virtual work, instead of uh, diretsyo na, ang gagawin natin, we will try to solve for the internal forces dito sa mga, I mean, yung mga uh, member forces natin yan, no? sa AC, AB, and CB. And then after nun, we'll try to consider another truss with the same uh, properties length, okay? But, yung loading iba nga lang. Okay? Yung loading natin sa virtual, uh, virtual work is meron tayong unit load Na yung unit load natin dito, since we are interested, tingnan nyo, sa problem natin, we are actually interested sa vertical displacement of, ano yan, joint C. Now, I'll just assume na joint C will go down. Okay, so meaning, yung vertical load ko, okay, na ilalagay, kung virtual work pa sana to, is actually, nandyan sa joint C, but going down, unit load. Now, dito sa Castellanos, guys, instead of a unit load, ang ilalagay natin na vertical load is vertical load P, okay, variable P. 
Yan yung load na ilalagay natin. So, lalagyan ko to. Now, hindi na ako gagawa ng iba pang trust. Dito ko na agad ilalagay yung load P. Okay, so again, I am interested sa vertical displacement sa joint C. I will assume that it will go down. Okay, so meaning yung vertical load ko, ilalagay ko dito. And then going down then. Okay, so instead of unit load, again, Castellanos to. So, I'll just apply load P. Yan. So, ito na yung problem natin. Okay? Same pa din last time, guys. We'll try to solve for the internal forces. But notice, you cannot actually solve a fixed number dito no, sa mga internal forces natin. Kasi nga, hindi natin alam yung load P. That is actually a variable. So, expect na yung mga internal forces mo dyan is actually a variable din. Main function din. Okay? Now, that is in terms of X. Okay? So, uh, again... Uh, Castellanos or virtual work Mas maganda talaga gagamitin yung method of Joints Kasi nga we are interested sa lahat ng mga bar forces So pag mag method of joints ako guys Now depending na sa inyo ako Ano yung i-consider nyo una Now I can actually consider joint C And then I can actually solve yung dalawa no So baka isipin nyo sir Kailangan pa ba natin i-solve yung reactions Now, now sa governing equation natin We are not actually interested sa reactions Diba? Walang reactions dyan. We are just interested sa bar forces. Now, find a way na hindi nyo na isolve yung reactions kung pwede. Now, notice na if I'll try to consider joint C, walang reaction. Hindi ko kailangan ng reaction if I'll try to consider joint C. And then, I can actually solve C, A, and C, B. Okay? And then, if I'll try to consider joint A, hindi pwede kasi kailangan ko yung reaction. Diba? Iiwasan ko yung pag-solve sa reaction. So, tingnan nyo, pag nag-consider ako sa joint B, uy, Pag nag-consider ako sa joint B guys, kailangan ko din pala yung uh, RB. Oh, actually, hindi na no? Pwede ako mag-sum up ng forces uh, horizontal. Tama. So, I can avoid solving for the reactions. Okay? So, sige, solve na ako. So, ilalagay ko na lang dito. Uh, lalagay ako ng uh, table dito. So, yung table natin, uh, ano yung columns natin? We have the member. Okay? Uh, ano pa? Member, we have the force and di ba? N as a function of P. Okay? N as a function of P. So, ganun na lang siguro. Ngayon, N as a function of P. Tama. And then, we have, uh, baka isipin nyo na, N times P, hindi. N as a function of P. Tama rin dyan lang to. Ngayon. N as a function of P. And then, we have the partial derivative, no? Partial derivative of N with respect to the variable P. Okay? And then, by the way, no, na-notice ninyo na sa product natin dito, di ba meron tayong N Ay, sorry. Meron tayong n times, ito ito, sa governing equation natin, meron tayong uh, n times the partial derivative of uh, n over uh, the variable p, and then we have times l. Yung n dito, guys, baka isipin nyo, sir, yung n dyan, ano yung n dyan? Yung n dyan, yan ba yung uh, function, sir? Na actually, hindi. Yung n dyan is actually yung real na, uh, yung real na internal forces. Okay, na walang kasali yung P since wala naman talagang P. But, sir, bakit sinol pa natin yung function of, yung N as a function of P? Kung yung N dito, sir, is yung original naman talaga na walang variable. Now, sinol na lang natin kasi kailangan kasi natin i-derive. Okay, yung partial, kailangan kasi natin, I mean, i-differentiate pala, hindi derive. Mali na naman yung ginamit ko. Okay, so... Kailangan natin i-differentiate kasi, no? Partial differentiation. So, so anyway, let's try to solve for n muna as a function of p. And then, we will try to solve for the original value of n. Okay? So, to, se uh, to solve for the original value of n, just set p equal to 0. Okay? Pag iset mo yung p equal to 0, since wala naman talagang p, then you can actually solve for the original value of n. Okay? And then, wag natin kalimutan yung length ng members. Yan, yung length ng members. So, yan lang ata. And then, of course, yung summation ng uh, summation natin sa tatlong ito ito. Ayan. Sa n. And then, we have the derivative, no? And then, of course, yung length. Okay? So, ito lang yung kailangan natin. So, gagawa tayo ng table para dyan. Okay? So, first, yung members natin. Ano yung members? C, A, and C, B, no? C, A. We have C, B. And yung last, we have BA. Okay? So, yun lang ata. Yeah? Oh, hoy. Pangit. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys kung hindi, hindi straight yung uh, table natin guys. I'm actually trying to find no, a software na 
parang ganito din but actually para mas advanced ba naalala ko yung uh, yung fellow instructor ko ang ginagamit niya is uh, I think tab uh, tablet sa Apple ba kaya kaya lang hindi kasi Android kasi to so walang uh, medyo pangit yung uh, app na ginagamit ko dito anyway <laughs> balik tayo dito so uh, yeah let's try to solve guys so uh, I'll try to consider joint C Sige, so at join C, lalagay ko dito. Again guys ha, kumare iwasan nyo, uh, we are just interested sa members. Kung, kung pwede, huwag nyo lang isolve yung reactions, but minsan mapipilitan talaga kayong isolve yung mga reactions. Now dito, I think pwede kong iwasan yung reaction, no? so by considering joints C and B. So at joint C, lalagay ko dito. Ayan. So ito yung forces natin sa joint C. So ito yung joint C. We have, number one is yung vertical load P, di ba? Ayan, vertical load P. And then we have the 4 kN. Okay. Uy, sorry. And then we have the CA. And then we have dito yung uh, CB. Okay. So, check na natin kung tama ba. Tama, no? CA and CB. Okay. Now, ito din yung tinuturo ko sa mga students. Now, since kailangan natin nun ng angle, kung maaari guys, iwasan nyo din gumamit ng mga angles is if ever you're trying to solve for yung mga bar forces natin din. I mean, yung mga member forces natin pag trust. Ako kasi yung ginagamit ko is usually mga ratio and proportion lang. Okay? Instead of uh, angle. So, for example, ito. Consider this triangle. Di ba? Consider natin ang triangle na yan. So, sa triangle na yan, it, parang ganyan yan. Di ba? Yan yung triangle natin. So, ano yung dimensions ng triangle natin? Kunin lang natin yung similar lang kasi yan dito sa triangle dito. Yan, no? Similar lang yan. Okay? Sa triangle CB and yung nasa gitna. Okay, so yung dimensions niyan is 4 nung nasa horizontal, no? So this is actually 4, 3, and of course, that is actually a special triangle, no? So 3, 4, 5, yan. So 5, yan. Okay, so again, paano ko kinuha yung 5? Uh, Pythagorean theorem lang, ha? Square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, yan. Okay? So, I think pwede na, no? Diretso na tayo, guys. So, uh, uy, 2 equations, 2 unknowns pala to, no? So, I mean, kailangan natin ba? So, anyway, uh, let's try to solve, guys. Sum up tayo ng forces vertical at saka sum up din tayo ng forces horizontal. So, summation of forces vertical is equal to uh, zero. Upward is equal to downward. Okay? So, hmm. so, ano yung mga upward forces? Meron pa tayo yung upward forces? By the way, guys, tinan nyo, yung CA and CB, I assume no na tension sila. Okay? So, away from the joint. So, again, guys, uh, try to assume pag nag-solve ngayon mga trusses, ito yung tinuturo ko sa students. Assume na lang kayo na intention lahat. And then, if meron kayong negative na sagot, therefore, mali yung assumption ninyo. Okay? So, pag mali yung assumption ninyo, therefore, compression pala. Okay? Hmm, so, continue tayo. Mm -hmm. So, zero, no? Wala kasing uh, forces upward. Okay? Now, that must be equal to the forces downward. Now, ano yung mga downward forces natin sa joint C. This is actually joint C. So, number one, pababa yung load P, di ba? So, P. Ayan. Uh, number two, we have the vertical component of CA. So, pag vertical component, guys, ang gagawin ko lang is CA lang plus CA and then, ilagay ko lang yung ratio na kailangan ko. Now, since I am interested sa vertical component, tingnan ko lang yung vertical dito. Ano yung length ng vertical dito na triangle? That is actually 3. So, ilagay ko lang dito 3 over 5. Ganun lang kadali. Okay? Instead of you, uh, kaysa mag-solve pa kayo ng mga angles. Okay? So, ganito kasi yan. Uh, bali, yung angle natin siguro nandito, no? Yan. And then, since vertical component yan, siguro ang gagamitin ninyo, uh, sign Okay? So, since uh, ito yung angle natin, sine of the angle is actually just opposite over okay, yung hypotenuse natin. So, ang opposite is 3, ang hypotenuse is 5. Okay? Uh, sine of the angle is 3 over 5. So, instead of solving for the angle and then solving for sine of the angle, ilagay nyo lang agad 3 over 5. And then, paano kinuha yan, sir? Tinatal nyo yung triangle. Yan, ito yung triangle natin. Ano yung vertical component? So, 3 divided by the hypotenuse na 5. Okay? And then likewise, plus we have the vertical component then ng CB. Okay? So that is actually CB, same then 3 over 5. Okay? Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, from this equation, hindi natin masasolve agad yung CA or CB. 
Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, guys, is we'll try to solve muna another uh, equation. Okay? Two equations, two unknowns. So, let's try to solve summation of forces horizontal. Anyway, this is our first equation. Ayan. So, summation of forces horizontal tayo. Is equal to zero. Upward, I mean, upward, sorry. To the right equals to the left. Okay? So, ano yung mga forces to the right from our figure? That is obviously the 4 kN. Okay? Plus, eh, sorry, uh, 4 kN plus we have the CB, no? The horizontal component of CB. So, ano yan? Uh, CB. Eh, sorry. Lagi ko dito. CB. Now, since I am interested sa horizontal component, check niyo yung triangle niyo. Ano yung horizontal distance natin sa triangle? Ano yung base? Ba ito ba? Oh? Di ba? 4. So, this is actually 4 over 5. Yan lang. And then, I think yan lang yung dalawang to the right. So, dapat equal yan sa to the left. Okay? So, check natin sa to the left. Ay, sorry. So, equal to dapat sa to the left, guys. So, ano yung forces to the left? We have the horizontal component of CA. Okay? So, ano to? CA times 4 over 5. So, ito na yung equation 2 natin. So, with these equations, guys, pwede na natin solve yung CA and CB. So, ano yung gusto nyo gamitin? Ah... Uh, uh, method of ano, a substitution na lang para mas madali. Anyway, I'll try to solve muna. Isosolve ko muna yung hmm, ano pa yung maganda dito? Sandali lang, ha? Hmm. Tama, no? Uh, to the right, okay. So, isolve natin. Tama, walang P. So, substitution na lang. Kunin ko muna yung value ng CB from equation 2. So, ano to? CB times 4 over 5 is actually equal to and ayan, CA times 4 over 5 minus 4. Okay? And then solving for CB, we have CB is equal to 5 over 4. Okay? Uh, Nag-multiply na ako. Multiply ko both sides by 5 over 4 para makancel out yung kabila. Okay? So 5 over 4 times CA times 4 over 5 minus 4. Okay? So, ano yung mangyayari dito? So, CB pala, guys, is actually equal to, tama na? So, this will actually cancel out. So, CA minus 5. Okay na ba? Yan yung value ng CB natin. CA minus 5. Okay? So, hmm, paano ba ito? Uh, I-substitute ko, ito, ito. Ito, i-substitute ko to dito. Sa equation number 1. Para yung CB na lang, I mean yung CA na lang talaga yung ano, okay? So, substitute, substituting this value guys sa equation 1. So, magiging uh, ano to? Lalagay ko na dito. So, this will be 0 is equals P. Ayan, P. Sandali, umuulan. Okay, hindi lang bala naririnig. Uh, P plus CA times 3 over 5. Okay, and then plus CB, no? Ano yung CB natin? CB is actually CA minus 5. So, CA minus 5. And then multiplied by 3 over 5. And then with that, you can actually now solve for your CA. Okay, so so let's try to solve, guys, yung uh, value ng CA natin. So, anyway, uh, simplify ko na lang yung equation natin. So, 0 is equals P plus Ano yan? Uh, CA times 3 over 5 plus CA times 3 over 5 minus 3. Tama, no? Tama ba? Uh, minus 3. Oh, tama? Okay, tama lang. So, we have uh, 0 is equals P plus ano yan? 2CA times 3 over 5 minus 3. Okay? So, anyway, uh, 3 minus P is equals 2 CA 3 over 5. So, I think masusolve ko na yung CA, no? So, CA is equal to, ano yan, uh, uh, 1 half times 5 over 3 sa 3 minus P. Okay? So, I think okay na to. So, this will be equal to CA will now be equal to Ano yan? Uh, cancel out. So, 2.5, no? 5 over 2 times 3. Ay, tama. So, 5 over 2 lang. 5 over 2 
minus, ano yan, uh, 5 over 6p. Tama ba? 5 over 2 minus 5 over 6p. Hmm, I think pwede na, no? CA, tama ba? Check na natin dito. Okay, so I think tama man lang yung CA natin. So, now, ito na. So, simplify lang natin siguro. So, CA is equal to 2.5 minus... Ah, hindi naman simplify parang i... Uh, hindi, na, hindi na tayo gagamit ng fractions. Ano ba yung 5 over 6? Ding, 0.8 something. 0.833. 0.833p. So, yan. Meron na tayong value ng CA. So, ilalagay ko dito yung value ng CA natin. Uy, nasaan yung table natin guys? Nawala. Uy, dito pala. That is actually now, ano yung? 2.5 minus 0.833p. Okay? So anyway guys, ano yung partial derivative ng function na yan with respect to the variable p? Diba? Tinan nyo. Ano yung partial derivative ng function na yan? Anyway, uh, kunin muna natin lahat ng value na lang. Okay? Kunin muna natin. Later na tayo sa mga ibang columns. Okay? So let's try to solve for cb. Hmm. Ang CB guys, from our equation here, CB is actually equal to CA minus 5. Okay? So, I'll just subtract 5 dito. So, CA, I mean CB pala is actually equal to uh, 2.5 minus 5 guys. 2.5 minus 5. That is actually negative 2.5. So, okay. So, this will now be equal to negative 2.5 minus 0.833P. Yan. Ganyan lang. Okay? So, meron tayong CB. Lalagay ko dito yung CB. Okay, so ano yun? Negative 2.5. Negative 2.5 minus 0.833P. Okay? Now, let's try to solve guys yung BA natin. Okay, solve natin yung BA. Uh, let's try to consider joint B. Ano yung joint B natin? So, yan o. No? Uh, okay, so BC... RB and BA. Okay. So, baba tayo guys. Uh, dito tayo sa baba. Para sa joint B. So, sa joint B, pang ganito yung sa joint B natin, we have the BC, which is nakuha natin, or CB pala ito, no? CB, nakuha natin yan kanina. And then, uh, ano pa? We have RB. RB. Okay. And then we have, uh, ito yun. Ito yung hinanap natin. AB. Okay. So, uh, I can actually, hindi na ko na kailangan yung uh, RB guys. I can just sum up forces horizontal is equal to zero, di ba? To the right equals to the left. Tapos, sa equation dyan, hindi na lalabas yung RB. So, anyway, ang mga forces to the left guys is zero. I mean, to the right pala zero since walang forces to the right. And then that must be equal to the forces to the left. Okay? So, yung forces natin to the left, number one, we have AB. Okay? And plus, number two, we have the uh, horizontal component of CB. Now, alam natin yung horizontal component of CB. At yung triangle natin, no? Uh, we have... Uy, sorry, mali. So, sa triangle natin, we have three, four, and five. Okay? So, yung horizontal component is CB times, oh, sorry, CB times 4 over 5. Now, nasolve na natin yung CB kanina, di ba? So, yun yung ilalagay ko lang dito. 0 is equals AB plus, ano nga halit yung CB natin? Uh, negative 2.5, no? Negative 2.5 minus 0.833P. Lalagay natin dito. Multiply that by 4 over 5. Okay? So, therefore, ang value ng AB ko is equal to, uh, paano ba to? So, negative 2.5 times 4 over 5. Ano yan? 2? Uy, ako, gumamit ako ng calculator. Sorry, nakakaya. So, anyway, that is negative 2. So, anyway, transpose pa natin. So, positive 2 na yan. 2 and then, ano to? Plus, tama ba? Plus, we have... 0 0.833, 0 0.833 times 4 over 5. Okay, so 0 0.667 or 0 0.666. So, 0.67 na lang. So, plus 0 0.67p. Tama na ito, no? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, tama lang. So anyway, lalagay ko dito, uh, 2 plus 0.67p para sa value ng AB. Okay? So, saan na yan? Dito pala. Um, 2 plus 0.67p. Yan. Okay? So, now, since meron na tayong uh, values no, ng N or yung internal forces natin or yung mga bar forces natin uh, as a function of P, kasi nga meron tayong nilagay na variable load P. So, we will now try to uh, differentiate no, yung uh, N partial. We'll try to solve for the partial okay, derivative of N with respect to the variable P. Now, so, bali sa function, anyway, sa function natin, isa malang yung variable P mala. So, I hope alala nyo ba kung paano mag-differentiate. So, we have so, uh, uh, 2.5 minus constant, uh, we have two terms dito, no? 2.5 2 at saka yung 0.833p. So, ang uh, ano yun? derivative ng constant, diba? Zero. And then, derivative ng uh, var uh, constant multiplied by a variable. So, I think, uh, I hope okay lang kayo dito, ha? Yan. So, naalala nyo pa yung sa differential calculus ninyo. That is actually negative 0.833. Okay? Uh, paano ko ba ito yun? Hmm. Anyway, uh, just try to review guys, okay? So, dito guys, walang problema, mga, mga madadali man lang yung mga uh, differentiation na gagaw gagawin natin. Hindi naman, walang mga trigonometric functions na mm, kasali, okay? Uh, usually, mga polynomials lang talaga. Okay, so 0.833, so obviously ito, this is also 0.833. Makancel out yung P. And then ito, same ba rin, uh, positive 0.67. Diba? Na uh, ano yun? Napakadali lang. Okay, napakadali lang yan. Now, we need to solve for this. We need to solve for, uh, eh, no? Wherein yung P is equal to 0. Ano ito, sir? Ano tong value na to sir? Okay, ano yan, sir? Now, that is actually the original, uh, uy, sorry. Yan yung original na internal forces or yung bar forces ng trust nyo uh, na hindi kasali yung P. Load P. Now, instead of solving another trust na walang P, isend nyo na lang ang P. Meron na tayong Fun, uh, meron tayong internal force o oh, force N, di ba? So, baka isipin nyo, sir, uh, yung internal force na yan, may P kasi, sir. Kailangan natin na walang P. So, instead of solving again, iset nyo na lang ang P as 0, di ba? Set P as 0, then you can actually solve N as P. Uh, you, you can actually solve yung N, original value ng internal forces ninyo or yung bar forces ninyo. Okay, so, uh, from my function, no, if P is equal to 0, this, obviously this is 2.5. Uh, ito naman, this is negative 2.5. And then ito, this is 2. Uh, I hope okay lang tayo, ha? Naintindihan ninyo. Ang ginawa ko lang, uh, tinan nyo, sa CA, di ba, 2.5 minus 0.833P man yan, di ba? So, instead of P, ilagay ka lang to 0. Yan. Okay? So, kaya 2.5 na lang. Same uh, same din sa CB at saka sa BA. Okay, so solve natin guys yung length ng uh, mga members natin. So, balik tayo dito. So, length ng member uh, CA, that is obviously 5, no? 4 squared plus 3 squared. Square root of 4 squared. So, CA is 5. CB is 5 then. Okay, and then yung last, uh, BA is 8. Yan. Okay? So, yan. Pwede na natin i-solve yung summation, guys, ng N. Now, by the way, guys, ha, again, uh, ito yung uh, kailangan natin, no? Summation of N. Uh, ay, sorry, dito na lang. Ito lang yung kailangan natin. Again, yan, yan, yan. Ito pala, yan. Yan, ito, ito. Now, sir, bakit hindi mo sinali yung AE? Bakit hindi kasali yung AE? Yung AE, guys, actually... Uh, constant man yan for, uh, for all members. So, hindi na natin kailangan pang isali dyan. E, later on na lang yan. Okay? So, bali, ang mangyayari talaga, yung formula natin, yung governing equation natin is ganito lang. Okay? So, yung answer natin is 1 over AE multiplied by the summation of N partial derivative of the function N with respect of variable P and then we have the length. Yan lang. Okay? So, let's try to solve, guys. So, I think pwede natin gamitin yung calculator natin dito sa CA. So, direction na, negative, ano yan. Uh, yung N natin, <clears throat> yung N natin for CA is actually 2.5. Okay? And then, yung partial derivative is negative 0.833. 
and then we have yung length is 5, so that is actually negative 10.41, so negative 10.41. So yung kabila is, I think same lang sila, no? Tama, same lang sila, but instead of negative, positive nga lang to, di ba? Positive 10.41. Tama ba? Okay, so I hope na tama lang. So, and then we have yung last. Uh, check na natin yung last. Uh, 0 0.67 times 2 times 8. Positive lahat, no? Tama, positive. So, we have 10.72. 10.72. So, pag i-add mo yung lahat na yan, so this will actually just cancel out. So, yung summation of N, yan, okay, that is actually equal to 10.72. So, yan yung gagamitin natin sa governing equation natin. So, I think direct sub na lang tayo. So, deformation is simply equal to, uh, ano nga ulit yun? Uh, 1 over AE and then multiply it by summation dito. Actually, malakas yung ulan dito. I hope na hindi naririnig. So, we have 10.72 over AE. Anyway, alam natin yung uh, uh, yung area at saka yung modulus of elasticity. So, let's try to check that if same lang ba tayo ng sagot sa kanya. By the way, ha, hindi pa yan yung sagot. Okay, kailangan pa natin substitute yung values ng A at saka ng E. Check na natin dito. Yan, okay. Now, tingnan nyo ha, sa kanya, sinolve pa niya yung reactions. Okay, na kayo, pwede nang hindi. Pwede nang hindi. <laughs> okay, so, diretso na lang agad, guys. Yan. So anyway, I think same lang tayo. Mas maganda nga lang yung table niya. <laughs> okay? So check na natin. Yep, same lang. Oh. Tinan nyo. Yung CA niya, this is actually AC. Okay? So both uh, negative, positive, no? Tama ba? CA. Uh, AC. Sa atin is... Asan yung sa atin? Ah, okay. So tama, negative, positive. Okay? So anyway, uh, tama na may discrepancy lang kasi... Yung value ng AB niya is 0.667. Sa akin kasi is 0.67 yung ginamit ko. Kaya medyo may discrepancy. Kaya yung sagot ko is 10.72. Yung sa kanya is uh, 10.67. But anyway, same pa din yan. Walang problema sa, uh, walang problema sa, uh, walang problema sa mga students ko. Okay? So, I'll try to consider pa din. So, tinan nyo. Yan ako. Tinan yung sagot. Okay? So, meaning the deformation of C, yung vertical deformation ng C, is actually 10.67 kilonewton meter divided by AE. And then just substitute AE, guys. And then always remember na dapat consistent yung units. Okay? So meaning yung sagot natin is 0.133 millimeters. Again, guys, you are interested dito sa, sa vertical displacement ng C. If horizontal displacement ng C, meaning uh, yung load P mo na ilalagay is horizontal din. Okay? So uh, I hope okay tayo dito. I hope na naiintindihan nyo yung... Uh, uh, Castellanos theorem, no, para sa trusses. Anyway, same pa din talaga. Ang mahirap lang dito, guys, is ito. Uh, unfortunately, dito, uh, hindi kayo, uh, hindi naman, depende siguro, no, nasanay kasi kayo na, halimbawa, two equations to one, you will just use yung calculators niyo. But dito, uh, hindi ka, ma, hindi mo maagad magagamit yung calculator since uh, mga, uh, meron ka kasing unknown variable. Okay, so, Siguro, uh, mano-manong method talaga, especially pag two equations, two unknowns. Okay, so, mano-mano lang, kahit kagaya na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Kasi pag, uh, pag wala tong, uh, wala tong load P, you can just use your calculators, mode 5, uh, mode 5, 4, di ba? Mode 5, 5, ata, para sa pag-solve ng two equations, two unknowns. Okay, so, anyway, let's try to move on, guys. I hope okay kayo dito sa, uh, dito, dito. Yan. Ito to. Yan ha? So, ito lang yung governing equation. Again, summation of N. Okay, partial derivative of N with respect to the variable P and L over AE. Again, ang N dito guys is the original yung uh, na wala pang load P. Okay, wala pang load P. And then dito guys, ito yung partial derivative ng N over uh, the variable P. Ito yun, yung function yung i-consider mo dito. Now, dito... Yung P mo is actually equal to 0. Kaya, yung table natin, kung mapapansin nyo sa table, ah, dyan, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung ginamit natin sa N, hindi ito. But, sir, bakit kinuha pa natin to Kinuha natin to kasi kailangan natin itong i-differentiate. 
with respect to the variable P. Okay? So, anyway, yan lang muna para sa traces. Let's try to move on, guys, para sa beams. Now, ang beams, uh, same pa rin, actually. Uh, mas madali nga lang, I think, hmm, ah, kayo na yung, uh, kayo na yung bala ko, asan yung mas madali? Kung virtual ba or yung uh, kasalianos para sa beams. Okay, so, let's proceed, guys, sa beams. Okay, guys, so ito naman yung Castellanos theorems for be, uh, theorem for beam and frame. So, anyway, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, same lang talaga, sa, same lang yung equation sa virtual work, except uh, meron lang pinalitan, no? Instead of small letter M, naalala nyo sa virtual work, iba? M times small letter M yun, no? Again, instead of small letter M, pinalitan lang natin ng summation of, I mean summation, pinalitan lang natin ng uh, partial derivative of M with respect to the variable P. Now, uh, mas mahirap para ba to? Uh, I think mas mahirap para sa akin no? mas mas mahirap to compare mas mataas pala hindi naman mas mahirap I think mas madali lang to. mas mataas nga lang yung solution kasi nga yung function mo dito yung function m mo is actually composed na of two variables na sa traces mo ang ang function n mo is just composed of a variable uh, p di ba? dito guys yung moment mo, okay, yung moment function mo is now composed by two variables. We have x. Ba, naalala nyo? Kasi mara tayong x. Mara tayong variable x dito. Di ba? Yung location ng cut. Okay? And then we have the variable p. Okay? So anyway, I think familiar naman kayo sa mga parameters dito. We have the delta or the deformation, external displacement. p is the external force applied to the beam. Okay? So again, load p, okay, is the external force applied to the beam with the same direction ng deformation mo. Now, dito sa beams, usually pababa man lang. So, usually, yung load P natin is going down lang din. And then, dapat kung asan yung point na hinahanap mo, uh, yung displacement pala, hindi pala deformation, sorry. Yung displacement, uh, yan din yung uh, yan din yung location ng load P mo. Okay? So, tinan nyo guys, yung M dito is the internal moment in the beam or the frame expressed as a function of X and caused by both the forces P and the reloads on the beam. Okay? So, meaning, dalawa na yung variable mo. X and P. Now, EI, walang problema. Usually naman, uh, constant lang to. So, uh, you can just factor this out. Ang kailangan lang natin dito is yung M. Okay? Yung M at saka yung partial derivative ng M with respect to load P. Now, uh, since we are dealing with beams, guys, usually, no, pwede itatanong yung displacement, pwede rin actually yung uh, pwede din yung slope na pag slope yung hinahanap guys same din sa virtual work di ba naalala nyo pag virtual work instead of unit vertical load ang i-apply unit rotation yung i-apply natin same din dito instead of the vertical load P rotation yung i-apply natin now yung rotation hindi na uh, yung variable ng rotation hindi na P yung ginamit uh, M prime na yan parang M prime lang so you can just use P pa din basta tandaan nyo lang instead of vertical load gawin nyo lang rotation. Okay? So, I hope okay tayo dyan. You can just use any variable dito. Baka kasi, mag, baka kasi isipin nyo na yung M prime is another moment function. Hindi ha? Yung M prime dito is just the rotation. Okay? Uh, yung rotation na pwede mong P, pwedeng uh, X, I mean, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng Z. Ito ano yung bahala kung ano yung variable na gagamitin mo. Anyway, hindi man natin kaya, uh, it will just cancel out. Okay? Hindi man natin kailangan yan. Okay? So, anyway, I think mas madali na pag meron tayong example problem. Now, don't worry guys, uh, yung gagamitin natin example problem, yung madali lang din, yung same lang sa last, uh, yung ginamit natin sa virtual work. So, dapat same tayo ng sagot. Okay? So, anyway, ito yung example, no? So, determine that the displacement of point B of the steel beam shown. Now, sinove na natin to using virtual work. Sinove din natin to using yung shortcut, di ba? Naalala nyo, tinuro ko sa inyo, W. L4 over 8 EI. So, dapat yung sagot dito is, I think, 15,000 nata. W12 L is 10 to the power 4 over 8 EI. O, ah, ba 15,000. So, dapat makukuha natin dito is 15,000 din para sa Castellanos. Okay? So, let's try to solve. Lipat ko muna. So, ito yung beam natin, no? Yan. So, sa mga students ko, walang problema, guys. Kung napapansin nyo, yung mga plates na ibinibigay ko, same lang lahat ng given, but you just need to solve the beams, okay, yung displacement at saka yung slopes, using different methods. 
Okay, so in in that way, I think uh, hindi kayo mahirapan kasi alam nyo na kung ano yung tamang sagot. Kasi nga paulit-ulit nyo ng sinov. Kaso nga lang, dapat tama yung uh, solution ninyo. So, okay, so same lang. So, sige, uh, let's try to solve for the displacement at B. So, kung sa virtual work pa to guys, gagawa ako ng bagong beam, di ba? Tapos dito ko ilalagay. Yung unit load. Now, dito guys, since this is Castellanos, ang gagawin ko, ilalagay, lalagyan ko to ng load. Dito na. Yung, yan. Now, instead of unit load, load P. ba Vertical load P. Yan lang. And then, I will now try to create my moment function. ba Ilalagay ko yung moment function ko. So, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, ilalagay natin. So, let's try to solve for uh, M. So, anyway, I'll just cut the beam. So, siguro dito ko na lang i-cut yan. Anyway, so, naalala nyo, ginawa natin sa virtual work. So, I'll try to consider yung left side, ha? Bakit yung left? Kasi, mas madali. Wala kasing mga reactions. So, papunta dito yung X, no? Yan yung X. So, ito yung load ko. Okay. So, maglalabasan dito yung moment. Again, assume a positive moment. Ha? So, ito yung moment ko. Ayun yung shear ko siguro ganyan. I'm just, anyway, hindi man ako interesado sa shear. Yan. Okay, and then, yan. So, sum up ako guys. Tawagin ko na tong point C. Uh, point of cut, di ba? So, ito, ito. Point C to, yan. Point C. So, summation of moment at C is equal to zero. Clockwise equals counter clockwise. So, ano yung clockwise at saka ano yung counterclockwise moment? So, yung clockwise moment ko, obviously, yung moment M. Okay? So, M, uh, maroon ko ba akong clockwise? Now, yung loads actually clockwise din. So, plus, by the way, this is 12 kN per M. Okay? So, yung 12 kN, uh, di ba, resultant ng 12 kN in the exact per meter is just equal to 12 times X. Di ba? But, yung moment arm is kalahati. X over 2. Okay? Now, huwag din natin kalimutan yung load P. Okay? So, plus, yan, plus P multiplied by, okay, multiply natin sa moment arm ng P. Now, from C, the moment arm of P is actually equal to X. Yan. Okay? So, I think pwede na, this must be equal to the clockwise, I mean, counterclockwise rotations. Now, From our figure, walang counterclockwise, so equal to zero na lang. Okay? So, meron akong M as a function of X and P. So, this is actually negative 6X squared plus, uh, minus pala, minus uh, X times P. Okay? So, yan na. Diretsyo na agad, guys. So, we can just uh, use this moment function para, uh, para sa governing equation natin. Ano nga ulit yung governing equation natin? Deformation is equal to, ano yun? 1 over EI. Kasi nga, uh, constant man yung EI natin. Uh, integral from 0 to L, okay? Of our moment, multiplied by the partial derivative of M with respect to, uh, check na natin ulit dito. Ah, okay. Uh, DX, tama. So, P, DX. Okay? So, lalagay na natin. Now, same dito, guys. Baka kasi isip, baka kasi ang gagawin ninyo, uh, you know, uh, ito, ito, ito. Baka kasi ang gagawin, baka kasi yung M na ilalagay nyo is yung negative 6x squared minus xp. Hindi, ha? Hindi. Hindi yan yung M. Yung M dyan is same sa ginawa natin sa trust kanina. Yung M dyan is actually the uh, exact no, na moment function without considering long load. P. Okay? Uh, same na, di ba, sa trust natin kanina, ano yung ginawa natin to solve for the uh, yung exact na value ng N without considering the variable P. So, we just set the value of P equal to zero. So, same din dito, guys. To solve for M na ilalagay natin dyan sa governing equation natin, so, just set P is equal to zero. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, pag iset natin to, uh, pag iset natin, ito, ito, If we will try to set P is equal to 0, yung value ng M natin is simply equal to, uh, by the way, this is 0 to 10, guys, no? Kasi 10 yung left ng beam. M is just equal to negative 6x squared. Now, ang tanong, ano yung part, ano yan, guys? 
Ano yung partial? Tingnan nyo dito. Oh. Ito. Ano yung partial derivative niyan? Ano yung partial derivative ng m with respect to the variable p? Again, pag partial derivative, guys, yung variable p mo, yan lang yung variable. The other variables, lahat ng mga variables sa uh, sa function mo is now equal to, I mean, is just constant. So, yung x is constant, yung ito, constant, constant, lahat constant maliban sa variable p. So, meaning, ano yung uh, partial derivative? So, if x is constant, meaning, this is actually negative x. I hope agree kayo guys sana ang partial derivative of m with respect to p is equal to negative x. Again, I hope agree kayo dyan. If ever nakalimutan nyo, please try to review your uh, differential calculus, especially sa mga polynomials. Okay? So anyway, uh, just write the x dito. No? So dapat, check na natin kung 15,000 ba to. So I think wala lang problema, no? Diretsyo na lang agad. Zero... Ano, negative 6x squared uh, times negative x. And then 0 to 10. Uh, ba 15,000 over EI. Okay, so check that out in dito. Ang lakas ng ulan dito guys, actually. Buti na lang, meron tayong noise cancelling. Choo -choo. Yan. Okay, so anyway, I think same lang tayo ng sagot. Yeah. So, uh, wala problema guys, same pa din tayo ng sagot, 15,000 uh, over EI. Anyway, uh, substitute nyo lang yung EI ninyo and then you can just get your exact answer. Just be consistent with your units. Okay, so kayo na yung bahala guys kung asan yung feel niyo na mas madali. Now, para sa akin guys, mas madali yung Castellanos compared sa, uh, compared sa virtual work. Bakit? Especially sa trusses. Sa virtual work kasi, naalala nyo last time, uh, it took us one hour para lang sa, I mean, I think 30 minutes plus para lang sa isang problem sa trust. Bakit? Maliban sa sinolve pa natin yung original na trust, nagsolve pa tayo again sa virtual trust. Now, dito kasi sa Castellanos, maiiwasan natin yun. Okay, we will just consider one trust. Kaso nga lang, yun nga lang, mas mataas nga lang yung, mas makataas ng kaunti. Okay, kasi nga, meron tayong additional variable load. Okay, tapos yun nga, uh, depende na sa inyo, baka, sa, baka si mahirapan kayo mag-solve ng mga bar forces pag variables, pag merong variable na kasali. So, still, kayong bahala kung ano yung gagamitin nyo. Okay, but uh, para sa akin guys, mas madali yung Castellanos na uh, method. Okay, so yan na muna guys. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa uh, lecture video na to. Anyway, uh, sa mga uh, kaunti lang yung examples natin, no? sa mga students ko, binigyan ko naman kayo ng mga handouts mo for more additional examples. Okay? So, uh, yan lang muna. Maraming salamat sa mga nanonood. At saka, of course, kung nakatulong din ako sa online classes niyo, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Nakakatulong talaga yung uh, yung mga likes niyo. Okay? Maari na actually mag-comment na lang. Mas marami kasing comments or likes, mas naisasuggest kasi ni YouTube yung videos natin. Okay? So, maraming salamat ulit guys. And yun nga, see you sa next video natin.